Yo, what's going on guys? It's Loza. Looking at um, a new Terriamon deck profile, the one I took to the Double Typhoon Cup. I thought it was a pretty successful list. I've kind of separated it into uh, your Megas, your level 4s and 5s, rookies. See, that's a, that's a big chunk. Um, tamers and options, so obviously we'll go through one by one, starting with the eggs. But yeah, man, I am so stoked that this finally came out. I just, <laughs> it's honestly been my dream. So I'm really happy it's finally here. I'm going to start with the one Argomon. And it's a pretty good egg, but I do think in future I might play the uh, Minomon. But there's also the, uh, I forget it, it's the Cat Digimon though. It's, uh, Salomon and Gatamon's in training. Little yellow cat. It's kind of awesome. I think it's plus 2k, which is kind of necessary in the deck to hit certain numbers. But anyway, for now I was playing the Argomon and the Triple Gummymon. I think it's pretty staple. It's just if you have a green tamer, draw one. That's super good. You do play a lot of uh, green tamers in this list. It's kind of how the rapid mons want to function, or at least one of them. So yeah, I thought it was really cool. And it's a really good green egg in general going forward. So egg's good. Um, but yeah, that fifth egg, you definitely need to play five in a deck like this. And that'll be very obvious soon. But I think anyone who knows about Mimi and Willis and all that, you you know what's good. you got to play these uh, eggs at more than uh, four. We've got the triple, or sorry, triple. I'm talking about Yu-Gi-Oh ratios now. We've got the four Terriamon, the new one. Sensational Terriamon. These are all the Terriamons I personally can't cut. This is probably one of the best Terriamons. It's got a good inheritable, and it lets you play your Tamers for two less, and it obviously lets you play a lot more too. I typically don't really play the lot more too often. You'll see why soon. Um, Search a Terriamon looks at top five. Pretty much will always get you a hit, whether it's a Rapid or the Mega Gaga Ace. Um, it's just a hit, so you love to see it. And the other one, which can add you a Henry or a two-color green card. So this can literally add you any two-color green card in the game. Uh, it's not limited to Digimon or Options or Tamers, right? It can add you any two green color cards. So Mega Death, for example, this can add. Not that I'm playing it, but you see what I'm saying? Like, this card has potential. Also adding a Henry. So, of course, uh, we're playing a, playing a couple of Henrys in there, but we'll get to them a bit later. Um, you don't often double here, but when you do, it feels pretty good. So there's my starting out 12 Terriamon, right? We've got more. But they're the, uh, they're the starting ones. And then we've got the tech ones. So we've got the two of the memory blocker. And we've got the two of the EX2, uh, is it one? Yeah, EX2. Um, you'll see I, I like my Terriamon rarities. So we've got um, the memory block is great, obviously. Not everyone's playing memory boosts anymore, but you know a lot of purple decks still have memory gain in their inheritables and blah, 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 blah. Basically, forcing your opponent to out this is cool. Um, Armor purging down to this after like a Rapidmon dies in a check or a, a, a crash and becoming a memory blocker is pretty sensational as well. Um, this Terriamon's kind of a worse version of, oh, the wrong one, of the new one. Reason being, uh, it's gain one memory when you play a Tamer and it's gain 2k on Heritable, but only if you suspend something that turn. So it's like, this is almost a massive upgrade to the EX2 one, almost. Um, I see them kind of similar, and you really want to see one of these early, just so you can start pumping out your Willis's early and generate a lot of uh, Terrium 1 advantage. That's one of the reasons you'll notice I'm running so many rookies. So far, we've had the 12, and with these ones, that makes 16. I've actually got a 17th. We've got the one Lop. I'm not a fan of the Lop. I know a lot of people love it, and um, this was a bit of a controversial take from me from the start. I really don't think it's good in the Terriamon build I'm going for. Like, I'm going for Gold Rapid Turbo, uh, which we're about to find out. Definitely heavy on the Gold Rapid uh, into the Ace. And in a build like this, you really don't need the Lopmon that high. It's only really good with this, and even then it's only going to be for one of the swings most of the time. Um, it really depends on the board state, but basically I found this can become a bit of a win more card, but I thought it was a nice tech, and you can still play it for free and play it for cheaper off... We'll play for free off Double Typhoon and play for cheap off this Terriamon. So I thought, it's a nice one-of. If you see it, great. Uh, but ultimately, 17 rookies. Mainly because we are pumping them out with Willis. And we're also playing the Mimi. So some spoilers for other Tamers. Uh, I'm not playing Memory Setter Henry because I think Mimi Willis is kind of better. Though after testing in the tournament, I could definitely uh, see an argument to not play the Mimi. But anyway, um, solid rookie lineup. I think I'm going to keep this rookie lineup moving forward. Um, if anything, I'd probably cut Lop. Uh, <laughs> Lop is always just a bit awkward because a lot of the, the gold rapids don't digivolve for cheaper on it. So let's get into that, right? The new gold rapid is sensational. 
Unfortunately, it is three, uh, three evolve only on Terriamon once again. They really don't want the Lopmon and Terriamon stuff mixing. Some people don't seem to understand that, but Terry and Lop are, like, not really meant to go together. Uh, it's a bit awkward. Like, Alliance is meant to be more Lopmon uh, line-focused, and Gold Rapid stuff is meant to be, well, more Terriamon focused So, I kind of treat the deck more as a Terriamon deck rather than a Lopmon deck. I will make Lopmon deck content, which will be more Alliance-focused. Obviously, that support's not coming out till later with the Great Angels set and uh, all that other stuff. But, yeah, we've got the Cherubimon Ace coming out, and then I'll do some uh, Lopmon goodness. But for now, sorry, I'm shafting Lotmon into the back line and uh, focusing on Terriamon, my main man. So we've got the Gold Rapid OG one. This is the one from BT8. Um, you can play the new one from the Structure Deck, of course. The one that comes in this Structure Deck looks pretty as well. He's got the big thighs. I prefer this guy right here, the OG. I also had four of it, so you know I'm going to play it. Um, absolutely love this lineup. The eight Gold Rapids, you have eight Megas, essentially. Well, they're not Megas. They're level fours, but they play almost like a mega, and if you can get into two of these in a turn, like that's neg 9k, you can pretty much kill anything with that, if you can swing into it, right, if you can swing into it, fantastic, and uh, that's where this egg kind of comes in clutch, that extra 1k when attacking a Digimon, and in future there'll be eggs that give us more DP, so it does really matter, but also we'll get Rapid Monex and Terry Monex anybody in the future, which does make this lineup even better once again, um, but we can get into that obviously another time. But sensational, if you're playing Terriamon Focus build, you don't care about Alliance, great. This is what you want, right? It feels surreal to go into these cards for three and just pop off. And of course, if you get a Willis out there, you know you're going to make it cheaper and cheaper every time. It's really nice. Um, but yeah, I love that lineup. Sensational level four lineup. There is one more level four I play, the one Gargomon. And look, I'm spoiling the entire Tamer lineup, but it's to Turbo. Um, it's to Biomerge, sorry, into the Mega Gargamon if you want to, with the Henry Wong. It doesn't come up that often, I'll be real with you, but it's just there to get put in the bin, to be honest. Like, yeah, you can give something jamming, great, um, but yeah, it's kind of just there. Uh, here's our level fives, just two. Just two level fives, because our level sixes can obviously evolve on top of uh, all of our level four gold rapids. So yeah, in my first two rounds of the tournament, my opponents found out that you can just put this straight on top of the gold rapids. So very, very cool and nice. That is why this deck is so good. Because a lot of green level 5s were Digisorption and really good. And it was hard to play the older Rapid Mons because they were so bad. The level 5 ones at least. And I used to just play Digisorption packages basically instead of them. And now you just don't play them at all. Like you can just not play these, right? And Digivolve straight from the level 4 Rapids with the Mega Gargamon Ace. Sensational. I'm going to get Rapid Mon X anybody. It's just another great Mega for the deck. For now, this is all I ran. You can make an argument to play some of the older... Mega Gargamons, let me be real with you though, Chief, this is the best Mega Gargamon they've ever printed. Um, I love that it's an ace, and I hate that it's an ace, because giving your opponent 4 memory sucks, but man, Blast Evolving on a level 4 is kind of nuts. If your opponent doesn't play around it, like, they, they go, they, they lose pretty quick, because uh, turn 2, you know, you can promote your Terriamon on your second turn, Digivolve into this to pass turn, and if they mistakenly swing or something silly, you can block... And then if they swing again, you can warp, or you can just warp on the first one, right? You can blast on the first one. It's just a bit silly that you can have a level 6 on your board by, like, your second turn if your opponent just doesn't know and swings into you. It's kind of crazy. Um, obviously, if they know the matchup, it's a lot easier for them. Um, this Rapid Mon is interesting. You can hard play it, which is what you want to do a lot of the time. As long as you've got a green tamer out, it gets the protection effect, which is kind of nuts. Uh, the protection is from bottom decking and bouncing to hand and deletion by effect. Sadly, not DP reduction or D Digivolve, but that's okay. Um, I've just noticed in the matchups like Leomon, you get D Digivolved and DP reduced, and you're like, well, there's nothing you can do about it. Uh, it's really hard to win Leomon, which was my third matchup of the day. I ended up, I was two wins, and then I drew one and drew another one, so I ended up undefeated, but going 2-0-2, two, two, right? Two wins... Two wins, zero losses, two draws. So I came second at the event, which feels a bit rough, but it, it still feels good as well. It, it's, it's a bit of a double-edged sword. I'm glad I didn't lose, but I also really wanted to win, being at Terriamon in a green event, and that's kind of all the things that I do, but that's all right. Um, Leomon is a super good deck into this deck. It's good. I think it's quite good in general, to be honest, quite slept on, but in general, D Digivolve and um, what's it called? DP Reduction absolutely destroy armor, and absolutely destroy the concept of an ace, right? D-Digivolve on an ace is like GG, 
and any DP reduction on this is GG. And once, a, once again, the protection we have does not play around what I just mentioned. We still can get DD evolved. We still can get DP reduced. So this rapid mod, I think, becomes better with age. When we get the rapid X antibody, it's so good to hard slam this, and then you can go into the rapid X or just digivolving up the line to rapid X. Using this underneath, it's sensational. I think I'm only going to play the two until then, because as I said, all of our fours are basically uh, fives as well. They they act like it too. They're so strong. Um, a lot of the time, you're happy to sit, sit on your level fours because your opponent's scared that you have the ace. You can not have the ace, but they won't attack you because you just have a rapid one out. That is the mind games of the Mega Gargamon ace deck, right? You digivolve into this turn two every time, even if you don't have the ace, because they're shitting their pants thinking that you have it, and they will use some crazy removal to out that, right? Which, you know, helps you in the long run when you do actually have the ace later. It's, it's interesting like that. But anyway, with this lineup, you're able to warp using any Rapid and any Gargo. This is sadly the only Gargo we play. A uh, bit unfortunate you can't use this, but that would be a bit silly, I guess, putting that underneath. Um, all the Gargomons are just kind of bad, like, to be honest. There's not really a good Gargomon. This is the better one, and it's still kind of whatever. Um, I'm just glad we finally have a good Mega Gargomon, though. Uh, I've been ranting about this for a while, but I am very excited about this deck. I just think this gets better later. And if you're building a more stack-orientated build, you'd obviously cut on a lot of this. This is, like, more of an Armatoriumon build. A uh, Gold Rapid build, if you want to say that. Um, you can cut on a lot of this and play more Gargomons and actually play, like, a stack build with the other Rapid Mons, but... This build is purely like, I want to turbo to my Mega Gargamon Ace or just sit on my Rapids and, you know, swing at my opponent. Um, you're going to see that very soon. I was playing Fire Rocket. Sadly, I've, I've taken it out, but I do think it's due to come back in because you do need a bit of that aggression with a build like this. I found some games I couldn't close out. And maybe if I had just one or two Fire Rocket, it would have really helped. But anyway, the Digimon lineup feels solid. A lot of people are like, do you want another Mega? No. Uh, the whole event, like, I didn't, I didn't use all four of these. Like, there were games where one was in sec, and I still use the other three. I, I find you're able to win games with just the Rapid, the Gold Rapids, and the Mega Gargamon Ace. They will just win you games, and if you ever run out of those resources, it just kind of doesn't happen. And if it does, I mean, you're probably versing, like, Mass Demon or something like Yellow. Because you really can grind with this deck, surprisingly. You do run out of eggs, and you kind of can run out of your boss monsters, because you only play the four. But this deck's all about consistency, and pumping out those eggs, and actually winning quite early. Um, which we'll get to soon. There's one more Digimon, though, which is Quartz. I don't think there's much to say. Just the one, because we only play four sixes. But yeah, it can just win your games by itself. So there's the uh, the one Quartz. I'm going to put him on the bottom, though, because he's, he's a bit of a stinky guy. You know what I'm saying? Some people hate that guy. You can cut it, obviously, if you want. Uh, but let's get into the Tamers and the options. Tamers, I'm running the Triple Willis. Some of that OG alt and a pre-release one. You know, we got them nice rarity Willis. Your boy, Willie. Um, this card is actually... Still kind of mid. Uh, I know a lot of people like it, but I'm going to be real with you, Chief. Unless you see this Terriamon, this card still is kind of ass, right? Three cost, flip an egg is basically what this does. Three cost, flip an egg. If this passes turn, you've effectively played a Tamer that does nothing, right? So the only way this card becomes good is if you have the EX2 Terriamon, or preferably this one. Uh, you have this out, you go effect to play a Tamer for two less, play Willis for one, and you flip yourself a new egg, right? And then hopefully, that's why. You see why I have so many of the Terriamons. I just want to have... I, I want the Willis to resolve. Well, for one, I want the Willis to resolve. And two, I want to have the other Terriamon to put on the stack to generate advantage and pressure. Like, I'm just pressuring my opponent with another egg in raising, you know? Next turn, you can out this Terriamon, or it normally will become a rapid one, right? When I pass. That, that is the next step of the play, right? Once you've done the Terriamon here after the Willis, you're going to go into a rapid... And you're going to tap this, it's going to be one cheaper. So you're passing your opponent probably two to three memory. It's really not that much. And it's just a good play. But ultimately, it sets you up for the ace play. And it sets up a Terramon in the back that says to your opponent, hey, if you out this, or you're scared of this, there's another one coming up next turn. Like, you better have it again because I'm ready. And it's going to be cheaper because I'll just tap Willis again. So it's kind of sensational how the deck does that. Um, I guess the uh, the sad thing is, Willis is still a three-cost Tamer. Like, if you do not see this Terriamon or the EX2 Terriamon, it's a bit rough to play. I'm going to be real with you. It's an old card, right? It's from BT8. I was hoping for a new Willis in this movie set. If we get one, maybe it can do the same thing. It would be a two-drop. I feel like this is a two-drop. Might be too broken, but we kind of need it. <laughs> Terriamon needs a green Tamer for this Gold Rapid to... This Gold Rapid to pop off. And some of the older Mega Gargamons need a green Tamer too. So I think if they just made a two-drop Willis or Henry, that would be really nice. Henry's searchable. Willis isn't, so maybe he should be the one to be two-drop. 
like I'm um, theory crafting here, thinking out loud, but you know, that would be bonkers to make the deck super good. A two drop Willis, it, it could do like nothing. As long as it was two drop, I think that would make it very viable. Like, as I said, flipping an egg is very good for one with this, for one cost, great, amazing. For three cost, it's kind of ass, right? Kind of, kind of a bit mid. Uh, let's get on to our other three drop tamer. This guy just says you can gain a memory if your opponent's playing the game. As long as you're not versing sec con and you haven't wiped your opponent's board, you'll gain a memory at the start of your turn. It's fantastic paired with the Mimi because you'll be going to at least four. And four is the warping cost, by the way. So I, I do like to play two because it is another three drop. And unlike Willis, it can generate you some memory early. I mean, Willis can by reducing cost, but effectively, both of your three drop tamers do nothing on play. I mean, flipping an egg, but sometimes, sometimes you miss the egg because the egg's already flipped. Or sometimes, um, like, late game, you just don't have eggs. So you're like, what is this card's purpose, right? This card at least has a purpose late game. But um, sometimes, that's that's another reason for three Willis. So I see a lot of people play four, and I'm like, yeah, great. You see it, you turbo. I think it's good at four, but I just kept seeing too many. And once you've played it, like, one or two early game, you really can't afford to play another. Your eggs are already getting a kind of low, especially if you have a Mimi. But um, obviously, this deck's egg acceleration is kind of nuts. And that's why I'm thinking um, I could probably cut the Mimis for Henry Memory Setters, but I've always just been a big fan of Mimi, and Terrymon being able to play it for two is sensational. But yeah, I think Mimi's still a shot, because when you go on your Mega Gargamon Ace, like, obviously you tap this, well, well, the combo is normally you Willis for one using this Terrymon, you go into the Ace, you can promote what you've just, you know, flipped with Willis kind of thing it, with uh, Mimi. It's kind of insane, but it's also, like, you know, very situational. You need a fair bit of memory for that to work. But um, ultimately... I think these Henrys are always good because, you know, you can always gain a memory, whereas you can only be set to three once. So, like, if anything, it's probably one Henry memory setter and uh, three. Three of this guy is probably the way to go in future. But I don't know. This lineup seemed okay. But definitely after playing yesterday, I was like, ah, uh, there's a bit too much egg hatchy hatchy going on here. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. Maybe Mimi's on a shout. It's, it's hard to play green deck without Mimi, though. Like, she's just been so good since the very start. But anyway, let's get into the options. I'm going to do this one first because it's just it's green card. Uh, it combos super good with this. Um, and of course, we're playing four of it. I, I think this is one of the best options green has ever got. It is an option that searches, delays, and plays a body. And then in security, suspend to and go to the, the delay zone. Like, this is insane. Green has an option that is threatening in security. Suspending two in sec when it's this good a card in general. Like, we'd play this at 4 if it didn't do the security effect, right? We would play it at 4 anyway, I feel. That is just such a massive bonus. I honestly think this is one of the best cards in the whole structure deck. Um, this is good for the Alliance build as well. You can play 4 copies of this in the Alliance build, 4 copies of this in the Terry Mon focus build, 4 copies in a lot Mon focus build. It doesn't matter. This card feels like a 4 of in any Terry Mon based build. Maybe if you're playing Leopard Mon with Terry Mon engine, this is a 4 of kind of thing. Like, this card is sensational. Adds a Digimon and a Green Tamer. And obviously, Hidden Potential Discovered gets a lot of value with this. Because the turn after you play this, you crack it, you play that Terrymon out for free. It doesn't even matter which one it is. Because then you can just Hidden Potential, tap that shit that you know can't attack. Boom, you know? Obviously, if you play out the Alliance, you can also play out the Lopmon off it, and it's kind of good. But I'm playing the Lopmon one. And this mainly lets you get into your Mega Gargamon Ace for free. Mega Gargamon Ace says 5 on a Rapid. 5 on a Rapid. This reduces by 5. So, like, you can just have this guy out. Your opponent thinks, like, you don't have lethal, and you can just, you know, crack one of your double typhoons, play a Terriamon, uh, hidden potential, tap this, boom, uh, swing, swing. It's kind of sensational, right? Kind of sensational to turn that into two swings. If you have Alliance, you can make it more, right? Or if you have uh, Fire Rocket, you can Fire Rocket on here first before you hidden potential. That was the OG combo. Um, you would Fire Rocket on your Rapid, and then you would do the hidden potential tapping this, Digivolving this for free. And then you've just got uh, four checks, right? And luckily, if it's this rapid, you get the plus 1,000 too, which is really nice. But yeah, Fire Rocket's kind of a cool tech. I kind of missed it. I took it out because I found in testing, it, it could get a bit kind of dead. You know, it's one of those cards where if you uh, don't see it early and see it later, you're kind of mad. And it also, um, I don't know, some games are just kind of useless. But uh, it's also red, so you bottom deck it a lot. But um, I think it's a cool card for an armor kind of deck, which this is now. I think this card is just amazing, though. I think you got to play four Double Typhoon. Let me know what you think. I, I think that's just the way the four Double Typhoon is kind of crazy. I do play another Consistency card. And some people don't play Memory Boost or Training Boost in Terriamon. I'll tell you the reason why I do. A lot of games, like turn one, you put this on the egg stack, right? Like turn one, you do this. 
and your hand will be like, you know, a bunch of rapids. Where are my rapids at? Your hand will be like a bunch of rapids, right? It's like these guys and uh, like this guy. And it's like, oh, probably probably the other guy as well. It's, it's more so when it's this rapid, but anyway. Your hand will be like a bunch of these guys, right? And you're kind of like, I don't know which rapid I want yet, right? Also, this Terriamon lets me play a Tamer for cheap. What if I draw this Henry Wong for turn next turn? And I've already turned this into a rapid to pass turn. Like, I'm going to feel bad I missed that value. Um, and Double Typhoon is obviously a great option going first if you see this Terriamon. But ultimately, what I love about agility training is you can just play it alongside any Terriamon. And then you know what you want to do next turn. Because this Terriamon is more important than it being any of these Rapid Mons. Because you don't know what Rapid Mon you want yet. Most of the time, if you really don't have a better play, like did you go into this Rapid in the back's fine. But a lot of the time, you want to promote your Terriamon, agility training the next turn, and then go into whichever Rapid is the preferable option, right? Because both Rapids kind of have their own use. This can obviously clear a whole freaking board, and this one's more of a defensive one. But I, I think it's ultimately the better one. But um, if you're behind, then uh, this Rapid Mon really helps you clean up the board. Um, but I've found you want Terriamon in the back more than anything in this deck. You don't really want Rapidmon in the back. You kind of want to start your turn with a Terrier because all of your cracked level fours evolve with a Terrier. And if you happen to, like, I've seen it happen to so many people at the event, so many times they did evolve in a Gargo in the back for two to pass turn, right? And then it came back to their turn. Their opponent had some easy board where like a Rapidmon would have been perfect to out it all. Or like this rapid one would have come up and cleaned up. And sadly, you know, I've seen them promote this Gargamon and it's like, what does this do? You have jamming. Like, wow, jamming, whoop de doo um, So I found you don't want to do this. Obviously, it costs two and that's memory efficient. But like, hey, this costs two as well. We'll help you get a consistency card. And as I said, you want Terriamon in the back. And here's another card that wants you to have Terriamon. Not Rapid, not Gargamon, right? The Henry Warping Tamer. So much of this deck... I hope, I hope I'm clear on this. So much of this deck just wants you to promote a Terrium on every turn, right? It doesn't really care what else it can be. Other decks like to build in the back. I don't think this deck should ever really build in the back. You're kind of, you want to be promoting all the time, especially when you're playing Willis, right? You kind of never want to miss a promote. This deck will almost be perfect for Ukomon, but I think having Terrium on in name is just way more important. Uh, I feel like I'm going on crackhead rant about all this stuff, but I'm so passionate about Terriamon and the ways I think you should play it. But please let me know how you play it and if it's different. Giant Missile. Gargo Missile for my gamers playing from the uh, English realm, the America realms. Giant Missile slash Gargo Missile. I slept on this card. I, I would not have this card in any deck profile, but I actually, actually think it's amazing. There's some game states where you're sitting behind your quartz or their quartz, or like, there's just game states where you're sitting with heaps of rapids out and you don't want to swing because of the ace stuff. And you just go, you know what, screw it. They can attack me and I'll trigger my Mega Gargamon Ace. Drop this down for 8, suspend something, bottom deck something, and, you know, you lock something for a month suspending. Sometimes that's enough to win you a turn or win you a game, store you, you know, what you need. Sometimes you played out of desperation and, like, the game's doomed anyway. But, man, if this comes out of security and your opponent has a board, holy shit, you're just winning. This card is kind of crazy. It's kind of better Grand or Soul. Obviously, it's not as cheap. You can't reduce the cost. But, man... Does Giant Missile hit hard? Um, it's also your boy, you know? It's got your boy Mega Gargamon on there, absolutely flinging it at him. You love to see it. The angry uh, Doggo Missiles. Very based. Very based for my bunny boys. Anyway, that is the end of the profile. Let me know what you think. I know I'm um, a bit of a scatterbrain when it comes to this stuff, but there is a method to all my madness here, and uh, I really love this deck, so let me know what you think down in the comments. I'm going to have plenty more builds to go in the future. But I just thought I'd put this out there. Undefeated Terriamon deck profile. I do say Terriamon because I know there's a lot more in there. But really, this is not looking at the Lotmon at all. We we don't really care about the Lotmon for now. Unfortunately, I love Lotmon, but its cards are just not up to standard with the Terriamon stuff. Gold Rapid is just an absolute unit. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed the profile and I will uh, catch you guys soon. But yeah, Terriamon Gaming out.